I'm not. I hope he was not joking about me showing this on camera, but dude, whoa, I have not seen some of this. Okay, okay, dude. You guys are gonna be excited about some of this first up, but I know you guys are excited about this one right here. Check this out. Hello and welcome. What's up, everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. I've got an unboxing video for you today, trying to get back into the swing of things here on the channel. But first and foremost, I want to thank everybody for the overwhelming amount of love and support that I got on my last video. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that video, you can go check it out, get a little life update on everything that's been going on with me. And uh, the comments, the outpouring of support, love, prayers, and just support that I received on that video was mind blowing. So many of you went out of your way to uplift me uh, during my moment of darkness and I'll never forget that. It made me realize what an incredible community we've built over here on this channel and how so many of you out there have so much in common with me and it just fortified my mind and it really helped me get through the day as well as the days that followed. So thank you guys so much. It meant the world to me. Um, if you're looking for some positivity and some, some uplifting, go check out the comments on my previous video. It was awesome. Thank you guys so much. Unboxing today. But first and foremost, I'm gonna hop on my phone really quick and do a couple shout outs because there were some people that showed me some support, a little JR10 love, and I wanna give them some recognition here on the channel. The JR10 Army coming in strong as they always do. First up, my brother from another South Georgia Bassin dropping $149 with the JR10 for the win. Thank you so much, brother, for the support. It means the world. That is actually one of my close friends, Heater Army member, and he's sort of like the godfather of the Heater Army, man. He's the senior representative, keeps all the rest of us young ones in line, and he has shown me more support than I could ever even express to you guys here on camera. So thank you, South Georgia Bassin, my friend Scott, for the love. Next up, Nova Bass Assassins, dropping $92 with that JR10 for the win. Thank you so much. Last but not least, longtime supporter, Heater family member, Bayou Burner for dropping the $115 check with that JR10 for the win. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys use that JR10 code, shoot me a screenshot on Instagram at the Justin Royal, and I'll uh, do my best to give as many people as I can a little spotlight here on the channel. Just a way to say thank you. I appreciate the love and support. I could not do it without you. JR10 for the win, sixcentsfishing.com. You already know the deal. Let's get off into this unboxing. Uh, which way should we go? So first up, I think we should go with this one right here. I already started to open it and then I stopped. I was like, wait, we gotta film this. So first up, there's a letter here on top. This package is from another Heater Army member. His name is Philip Hathaway, super supporter, really awesome dude. And he's always interacting and showing love. And he sent me this little package right here. It says, Justin, this is a second bait I bought from a local guy, Chucky's Baits. The custom paints everything done by hand keep up the positive vibes and crushing life philip hathaway ps three ounces with hooks all right so it's a three ounce bait custom painted let's check it out what do we got here it's wrapped well it's wrapped and then it's wrapped again and then it's wrapped again and then it's wrapped again. All right, so we've got a little bluegill glide bait. Check it out. Single joint, beautiful custom hand painted bluegill pattern, really realistic. It's a good looking sunfish right there. Yeah, it feels about, feels a, I don't know, it feels a little heavier than three ounces. Maybe I'm wrong, but. Yeah, nice swim bait right there. Shout out to Philip Hathaway for sending this into the channel. Summertime, you know, I'll be throwing this around. I love to throw the bluegill swim baits in the summer when those bass are munching the sunfish. Thank you, Philip. It's a very kind gift. I do appreciate it. We're gonna keep rocking and rolling through here though. We've got a couple more boxes. This right here is actually last month's, where's my thing? Last month's Six Sack from Six Sense Fishing, if you guys aren't familiar. The Six Sense Fishing's monthly bait subscription service, where they send you a little bundle of tackle to your doorstep every month, build your tackle pile, tackle mile without ever having to leave the house. And you can sign up for the Six Sack on SixCentsFishing.com and use my code JR6SACK to save $10 off the price of your first sack. $50 value in every sack. 
But if you use that JR6 sack code, it's gonna bring the price of that first sack down to like 28 bucks, killer deal. It's an excellent way to start branching out and using some tackle that you may not have gone out of your way to order on your own. And I'm late with the unboxing for this one. So we're gonna roll right through it. This is the October 2023 six set from Six Sense Fishing. First up, axle, hybrid, swingy jig in a beautiful green pumpkin black color. So if you guys aren't familiar with the axle, it's got the swinging head, the swinging hook. I've shown it here on the channel before. We've talked about it plenty. But you guys can kind of see the difference between this and a normal style jig. Got the swinging head, unique hybrid jig style mold on the head and then that EWG hook. It's gonna swing up, catch them right in the roof of the mouth. The green pumpkin black, beautiful natural color. Nice, excellent way to kick off this month's six sack. That's a 3 8 ounce jig. I'm throwing this on either the 7.2 medium heavy mod fast heater series rod or the 7.4. Once I get up into those half ounce, three quarter ounce range, I'm using that 7.5 heavy fast heater. You guys check out the heater series, man. That's my own signature line of fishing rods that I did with six cents. JR10 for the win, $150 rod, but it's gonna bring the price of that rod down to like 135 bucks if you use that code. Shout outs to everybody who owns a heater series rod. If you're out there fishing with a heater series rod, much love, dude. I can't ever thank you guys enough for the support that you have shown me and the heater series ever since we, we launched the rod. So that's awesome. Next up, we got some soft plastics. These are the Bluegrass Magic Prawns. These are the newer prawns as well. These are the made in the USA which in my opinion, in my humble opinion, they're a lot better than the old prawns that were made overseas. But these right here, that bluegrass magic, probably pair up really nice with this hybrid jig. Let's check it out. Let's see if we can get one rigged up. So the hybrid axle swinging jig has this little screw lock here. So you rig it up a little bit different than you would a normal style jig. If I can get the skirt material out of the way, you're just gonna screw your bait right onto that little guy right there. Super easy, you guys know the drill. Bait is slippery, my hands are shaking. Gotta get it going. All right, there we go. Now we got it going. Screw that thing all the way down to the bottom. All right, so far so good. I like that blue, that blue color peeking through on that really natural uh, green pumpkin black jig. That bluegrass magic is that watermelon seed style top with the clear sort of see-through ghost blue belly and then it has blue flake all throughout now you want to be careful when you rig up this axle jig there's sort of a sweet spot you don't want it too loose and you don't want it too tight you want it just right 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 so we'll go in like that text pose the hook and boom there it is the axle hybrid jig paired up with the new made in usa bluegrass magic prawn don't forget to separate your little appendages on the prawn get that maximum action going awesome killer little bait killer little rig fun way to start off this month's six sack let's see what else we've got sounds like some hard baits what's this a hyper jerk 70 i haven't seen one of these in the sack in a long time this is that 4k shad color the hyper jerk 70 sort of fish this thing like a fluke only it's a hard bait got that feather on the back a lot of fun up near the surface when they're when they're schooling up and the schoolies are busting on the bait. This is an excellent option. It's one that I need to fish more myself, but I've had a lot of you guys tell me about your success with that bait. And that's a killer addition to this month's six sack. Sweet, let's keep it rolling. The Crush Mini 25 MD Medium Diver. So when you need to get down a little bit lower into the water column, and maybe you don't have a dedicated cranking setup. This is an excellent way to get into the cranking game right here because you can pretty much throw this on anything, even spinning gear. It's that Crush Mini 25MD Medium Diver. I like this color. What is this? Spanish Pearl, of course. It's one of my favorite colors. It's just a really nice pearl white, bright white, killer looking uh, little medium diving crankbait right there. Small profile, easily consumable morsel. Again, for when they're busting on bait but they're not up there on the surface let's keep rolling keep on rolling through the six set got some terminal a little bit of terminal tackle there these are the ox four aught flipping hooks nice they'll pair up nicely with those prawns as well excellent flipping bait the prawn love to flip that bait around done a lot of flipping with the prawn a lot of fun fish catches like that man let's see what else we got this right here one of my favorite square bills on the planet the curve small profile 
square bill crankbait. I believe this color is Shad Burst. I'm going to double check myself here in a second. I know you guys will let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Let's see. Shad Burst. I was right. Nice chrome mixed with some black accents, gray accents, white belly. Check that out. That's a killer looking little square bill crankbait right there. And this is one that I throw a lot. When I'm throwing square bills, I usually have this and the Crush 50 at the ready. I love throwing a square bill. Throwing this on my 6'9 medium moderate heater series rod. It's a really good square bill rod for everything from the Curve 55, Crush 50, jerk baits, soft jerk baits, flukes, flush, catwalk top water, dogma top water, poppers. Man, I use that 6'9 probably just as much, if not more, than any other rod in the lineup. And that would be my rod of choice for throwing this little guy right here. Some of the rattles in this. Kind of a loud little bait, making some noise, banging through the shallows. I've caught so many fish on this little bait. Have a blast throwing the square bills. One of my favorite techniques, if not my favorite technique, honestly, it's hard for me to think of anything that's more fun to me than a square bill bite. Speaking of, been out with Dave a little bit here lately. We've been going on some fishing trips, been back on the water, even had Junebug back out on the water, and we were throwing square bills around, and you guys are gonna see some of that footage very soon. So stick around, subscribe to the channel if you're watching right now and you're not subscribed. Click that button, help us hit 80K. Thank you so much. We're trying to, to get that YouTube silver play button, 100,000. Can't do it without you. I appreciate the love and support. Last item out of this last month's six sack is a beauty. That's a beaut, Clark. Check that out. That's that Crush Flat 75X. This is another one of my favorite square bills to throw, especially right around now when the water starts getting significantly colder. And this is a beautiful bluegill pattern. Check that out. What is this? Gorge gill. Awesome. It's like a green pumpkin, white. Oh, that check out the orange on that belly. That's beautiful. Six cents, man, coming out with some of the most incredible paint schemes in the game. A lot of their baits look like custom paints, but they're not ready to go straight out of the package with laser sharp black nickel hooks and hardware. Tournament ready, beautiful paint schemes. That's that Gorge Gill Crush Flat 75X. I'm throwing this bait on my 7.4 medium heavy mod fast heater series rod. And this is one of the baits that I designed that rod for. It's dialed, it's perfect. The 7.4 medium heavy mod fast heater and the Crush Flat 75X. I guarantee you, match made in heaven, you're gonna have a blast catching fish on that. But wait, there's more. This is actually a surprise package. I'm not quite sure what's in here. My buddy Cooper over at the six sent me this and I actually reached out to him and said, hey, what is this? Can I open it on camera? He didn't tell me what it was, but he said I could open it on camera. So here we go. We're about to find out together. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching this far into the video. If you're still with me, click that like button, drop me a comment. I read every comment. I'm not sure what's in here. Looks like some new, some new stuff. I'm not, I hope he was not joking about me showing this on camera, but dude, whoa, I have not seen some of this. Okay, okay, dude. You guys are gonna be excited about some of this. First up, here's a new creature bait. This is the Congo Craw. The Congo Craw 3.8 black and blue. Check this out. An all new soft plastic drop from Six Sense Fishing, the Congo Craw. A little bit bigger claws, bigger appendages on this one. Like, I like that, dude. They got the, you know, the little end pieces, sort of like the bongo. It's gonna catch water, get that thing kicking and flicking and flapping underneath the surface. It's another killer looking pitching and flipping bait, honestly. But I bet it would make an excellent jig trailer if you guys like a larger profile, some bigger claws, a little bit more of a threatening look on your jig. Check that out, dude. The new Congo Craw 3.8 from Six Sense Fishing. This is my first time seeing this. My first time getting my hands on this bait right here with you guys on camera. Here's a new piece of terminal tackle. The Pitch Flat Tungsten. Now that's interesting. I know this isn't quite as exciting as some of the other baits, but let's look at it really quick. You guys stick with me. Check this out. It's a little flat profile, tungsten weight. I've never seen that, but when you turn it sideways, huh, I wonder what the mindset behind that was. I have to experiment with this, man. Maybe give it a little bit different action, a little bit uh, different fall rate or different uh, way it drags across the bottom. I don't know, maybe a little bit more uh, resistance to 
to getting snagged coming through cover a little easier. I've never seen that. The pitch flat tungsten, that's new. Check this out. This is also new for you finesse guys, for you crappie guys. And for me, this is the new clobber minnow. Check this thing out. Little finesse. Oh yeah, that's definitely like a, a crappie or panfish style bait. Look at that, the clobber minnow. Tiny little soft plastic. Heck yeah, dude. Pair that up with the with the Pecos crappie jig head, you know, or just a little tiny finesse jig head. Awesome, I haven't seen this bait either. First time getting my hands on it right here with you guys on camera, the clobber minnow. I don't think these are out yet. You guys keep your eyes peeled. There's some incredible colors, look at that. Monkey milk, that's a new one. That one we just looked at was ghost minnow. They got the thread fin shad. Check that one out. Another ghost minnow. And then they got that chartreuse minnow too. White and bright chartreuse. Shout outs to Coop for the new baits. But wait, there's more. I got something else in this box I wanna show you. The Congo Craw is a new flipping bait we have coming next year. The Juggle Clobber is a new crappie bait that we have coming very soon. Should be out in December, possibly sooner. Also included is a new style of tungsten flipping weights. Awesome, dude, the pitch flat tungsten. That one's a new one on me, but I know you guys are excited about this one right here. Check this out. The final form, the final product in the package, the hangover line through swim bait. So many of you guys have been asking me about when this one's coming. It's, this right here means it's coming soon. And check out this color, Live Gizzard. Really tempted to open that, but I'm just gonna let you guys get as close of a peek as you can in the package. I wanna leave this one unopened. I have some opened already that I'm fishing. That right there, Slow Sink, Live Gizzard, Ben Milliken's Hangover Line Through Swim Bait. Shout out to the homie Ben Milliken. Bassmaster Elite Series Qualified Angler going to the Bassmaster Classic. Uh, never doubted you for a second, homie. And that right there is a killer looking line through swim bait. I know a lot of you guys are ready for this one. I love throwing the big baits. I love throwing line through swim baits. And this right here is going to be a dragon snatcher. That is all I have for you now, but I do have another package right here. A company sent me something really cool and I'm excited to show you guys. This is uh, something a little, a little different and a little new, newer in the BFS realm of fishing. So stay tuned for this video. I'm gonna do a separate video on that. I've got a lot more exciting stuff coming your guys way. Like I said, I've been out on the water. I have on the water content in the works right now. And we're gonna try to keep things rolling, get back into the regular swing of things over here on the channel after all of the craziness that life has thrown me lately. But I think that is gonna do it for this video. What my favorite two things that we looked at today, love this Crush Flat 75X and Gorge Gill. That's killer. And I'm really excited about this little guy, the new clobber minnow, get clobbered. And then of course, you know, that line through right there is a super heater. You guys check out sixcentsfishing.com. Use my code JR10 for the win. Secure the heater, save the bread, 10% off your entire order. Everything on the site, 10% off. Thank you guys for the love and support. They've also got the Black Friday deals going on. They've always got some sales going on and I encourage you guys to check them out. You see me fishing with their products all the time here on the channel and I've caught more fish on Sixth Sense stuff than I have pretty much anything else. But beyond that, I couldn't do what I do without Sixth Sense Fishing. They are the reason that I'm able to continue bringing you guys free fishing content here on YouTube along with the JR10 Army, the people that use the JR10 code. I couldn't do this without y'all. So thank you to Sixth Sense, thank you to the JR10 Army. Shout outs to the Almighty Heater Army for supporting us on a monthly basis. If you guys are interested in learning how to become a Heater Army member yourself, if you wanna go above and beyond, click that top link down below in the video description and become a part of something special because the Heater Army is truly special and the community that we have here on this channel is incredibly special to me. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me, for being so understanding, for riding with me through the good times and the bad. Like I said at the beginning of this video, the love that you showed me in the comments on the last video warmed my heart and I appreciate you guys continued prayers. Please keep praying for me. It's working. I can't thank you enough for the support. I love you. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this up right here. So that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps are on up. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now, but I will see you on the next one.